Hi guys, this is Fu from Foxtech, and today I'm going to show you the new octocopter frame from Tyrod, and this is a Tyrod T1000. Okay, let's see. It's a quite nice octocopter frame. I actually love it. The first very imp good impression is it has a five, um, five degree angle going up. The arms are all going up, and uh, it will offer very good stability on this frame while it's flying. So, okay, uh, this is a quite nice frame, so I can't control myself to speak so fast because it has so many features. Okay, Okay, so let's see. First, let's see from the arm. I think they are quite brave on the designing new arms, new designs, since the arms are made of aluminum, but not traditional aluminum. Because you know, uh, in the past, we used the carbon fiber tubes are all in round, but this one is in oval shape. Uh, in, that, in that case, you can just put your ESC, and this is an example of Fox Life Multipel ESC. Uh, you can just put it in into arm and uh, lock it up and uh, what you have to do is just uh, connect uh, two wires uh, supplied with the package and uh, connect to the center plate and uh, your body cover is all set up it's so easy and uh, also due to the arms materials the aluminum you don't need to worry about the heat generation of the ESC in the arm it's quite safe Okay, let's take a look at, at the motor mounting. Here is the mounting, uh, mounting plate and the mounting seat is the Terrace new suspended mounting master. And you can see the, the motor plate actually suspended in the air are supported by four rubber supporters right here. So it will minimize the vibration on the center plate and also maybe uh, isolate the flight control from any vibration. Okay, so uh, this is also a folding autocopter because it's a uh, the side is not very big, but it's not small either. So you can easily carry it when it's folded. So just by turning this switch right here, you can easily fold them in a very fast manner, like this. Okay. And also because the locking mechanism is very good and very strong, uh, you don't feel any shake or similar thing after you unfold it. Okay, so it's quite nice. Okay, you may notice the center plate is uh, quite big. Okay, let me tell you, center plate structure is like this. The first layer is the carbon fiber layer, uh, very, very good fully carbon fiber plate right here. And also the center plate is uh, like a sandwich PCB switch, uh, has many uh, sockets, has many going wires going on it, and also on the bottom bit, you can find a carbon fiber plate also to give you reinforcement on this frame. Okay, on the bottom, you can see, uh, actually, you can see two electronic uh, landing gear. Uh, you can control it with a very small uh, landing gear control box that support, uh, supplied with the tarot. Also, you can see this the newest type of landing gear saves the space and also saves the weight on this frame. So the total frame feels so so light. Okay, so on the bottom, you can also see the loading plate, loading part. It's made of aluminum too, and also you can see here is the 12 millimeter carbon fiber tube for the gimbal loading and also for the battery loading. So uh, here you can see also this plate with a 25 millimeter landing gear plate, and landing gear tube, and also here's the 60 millimeter landing seat. And also you can see on the both end of it, you can see a red and uh, black rubber part for the damper. Okay, so uh, on the center of it, you can see uh, they also supplied with a power distribution box right here. So uh, while also, you can see here is a small XT60 plug on it. So in theory, you can pl uh, you can place three batteries on it uh, without any problem. Okay. Uh, what I also have to say is, let me show you here on the end of this arm. Uh, you may see a small plug on the center plate. So with the supplied wire, it's a signal wire supplied with tarot. You can just easily plug in and uh, the other end to your ESC, uh, which is uh, plated in the arm, and uh, the signal can be received uh, from the ESC. And also, this wire is the coaxis wire. Uh, it contains the positive and negative at the same time. It's just like earplug, uh, but uh, you can just uh, plug it into the center power distributor box, and uh, it is ready to use. So it's uh, so easy, and uh, I suppose I can use a 15 inch propeller at max uh, with this frame. So uh, I think it's a quite a good platform for the tires of 4114 or for the T motors of 4014 or similar motors. Uh, by seeing the 
motor mounting plane, I think it's also compatible with the 2814 motor or even smaller motor. But I suggest you to use the parameter size from 12 inch to 15 inch, which is so nice. And I think we make, make this frame a quite good platform for my, maybe for my next choice, maybe for my next RTF and ARTF combo choice. Okay, so this is a brief introduction about this, fr this frame and uh, I, I hope you can see it in detail because this frame has so many features and uh, could be the best product that Tarot made. And I hope you like it. This is Fu from Fox Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.